Hi there, welcome to tips and tricks from Windows 7 series from New Horizons London. We're going to focus today on AppLocker. That's a program to lock applications down to their very version. For example, if uh, I was an administrator wanted to restrict my users from running Office 2007 for six months ago, I deployed a published application of Windows, uh, sorry, Microsoft's Office uh, 2010. I could restrict them from running 2007. I know they'll come screaming, but uh, well, they got the memo. <laughs> or more simply put, you could restrict users from playing games, even if they're installed on the PC. Anyway, uh, I thought it'd be nice for you to see how that's done, so let's have a little look. AppLocker is accessible through the security features of the Group Policy Editor. That's the local policy on the system. We get to that by running gpedit. It's a Microsoft console, gpedit.msc. <clears throat> if I right click this and run as administrator, just make sure everything's in place. And go to Windows Settings, Security Settings. Bear in mind here that we've got User Configuration and we've got Computer Configuration. This is security settings for anyone on this computer. Doesn't matter the user, it's all about the computer. Anyone on this computer is gonna be gonna encounter security restrictions from the application restriction policy. Blow this up a bit so you can see it all. <clears throat> application control policy, excuse me. And AppLocker is one of the new ones that are available. It's available Windows 7. Uh, supersedes an old one called Software Restriction Policies. This was available with uh, XP in 2003, uh, but now we've moved on to AppLocker. So let's have a look at AppLocker's policy settings. If I expand AppLocker and create a new executable rule, <clears throat> introduction. And this rule is either allow or deny, and I can specify the specific user that I want to allow or deny something. I fancy denying everyone something. Now imagine uh, what would happen if someone having a, uh, well, having a giraffe, well, having a laugh, was come along and say, I want to block everyone from running Windows Explorer. What would that do to the system? Yeah, it would freeze it up. So there are protections in place to prevent that. At the moment, you can see I'm creating a new rule that hasn't even been created yet. At the end of this creation process, we're going to get three default rules put in place which protect the system, uh, the program files, the Windows directory, etc., from inadvertent misuse. Anyway, we'll see that in a minute. Right now, I'm going to deny everyone access to something, and that, that something can be in the form of the publisher, for example, Microsoft. The path, in other words, the location of the executable program that I'm, I'm trying to restrict. Or a file hash that one's really cute uh, remember with a path I could for example say I want to block access to C Drive Windows CMD or C Drive Windows System32 CMD or notepad uh, notepad is actually in the Windows and the System32 directory so if I wanted to block it I could block one by going for the path or I could identify a hashed algorithm which is a component analysis of the binary data in the file so on uh, the binary point 743 there might be a zero on the pi binary point 4972138 there might be a zero uh, it will take parts of those files analyze it to find out it's the same file wherever it is on the system and prevent it from being executed if it's a file hash rule so anytime I try and execute it it will match that to a rule that says you can't do it and won't let me run it so why not let's do a file hash Bear in mind, if I go for Notepad, I'm going to restrict it from being run by anyone. And uh, if I went for Path, I've got two of them, Windows and System32. So I'm going to go File Hash. Wherever someone copies that executable file to in the system, it will be restricted from running. Ever tried running a VLC player with this? Mm, that's the way it works. OK. Browse Files. Already in the System32 directory. That is the file I want to block. block. There's your warning. Default rules are not currently enabled, so do I want to create them? 
have a look. I'm going to get my deny rule and three allow rules that protect program files and the Windows folder and the rest of the system for built in administrators. Okay, so let's put this into place. Uh, one thing you need to be aware of that uh, is definitely going to uh, be a consideration is that you need a service running for this to be effective. The service is called the Application Identity Service. So if I just type, I'll go for services. <clears throat> the application identity service so it's man manual at the moment I'm gonna make it automatic by default start it and okay then remind me how we I'll remind you should I <laughs> how do we update the group policy architectures run this as administrator and do a GP update This attempts to update any group policy settings prior to a restart, if it's possible. Some settings are only available during a restart, hence this message that you're getting. That means I need, I need to restart. <laughs> Lovely. So, uh, I am going to restart now. And what will happen is uh, we'll hopefully see the group policy kick in and app locker block us from running Notepad. I bet, you, I, bet I can still run it right now. Yes, I can. Okay, I'm going to have to resume this recording after restart. Okay, we've restarted and let's see how effective it is. If I try and start Notepad. Cha-ching, blocked from group policy. Okay, let's try another way. Remember I said Windows and Win Windows System 32 holds a Notepad directory? We're in the Windows folder. There's Notepad. It's blocked. We're in System 32. Trying to run Notepad there. Not going to have it. Okay, I think that's pretty conclusively decided that Notepad won't run. So what I'm going to have to do now is revert my system by allowing those uh, rules through disabling the group policy editor from blocking notepad and restart my system again <laughs> right now that's it from tips and tricks new horizons london come back for some more soon